Hey guys, in this video, I want to go over the UXP plugin version of the panel and just notate a few differences from the CEP or the previous version. So the first thing you're going to notice is that we have a settings tab now. So this is going to be completely different from the original version. And in the settings tab, we can change the language if we need to manually to a different language, or we can just simply leave it on auto where it will detect the language that we have Photoshop set to and have that as the language in the panel. We can also turn on the tooltips if we want to, and when we have the tooltips on, then we'll see a little blurb pop up in the upper box where the logo is when we hover over the different buttons. Also now for the settings for the fake star trails, that's going to be here in the settings box. So you can change the fake star rotation angle if you'd like to, and here is where you'll actually set the number or the count. So let's say we do 100 here, all we need to do is create our guideline on a single star for the rotation point. And once we have that set, we can go to the effects panel, hold down shift over star trails and we'll see fake trails. So that'll start running the action. Now, as previously, we had that same setting set up when we push the button. Now we have it in the settings panel and you can see the completed version here. And while we're on the effects panel, you can see now the user actions will actually be set by the banner above the buttons. So to set the user actions, you're going to click on this banner here, and then you can select from your different action sets and select your primary on the top one, and then your secondary is going to be in the bottom one. So now when you click exit, you'll see your primary one by default, and if you hold down shift, you'll see your secondary one. Now if you need to change the user actions, all you do is simply click on that banner again, and you can change it from the menu as many times as you need to. Now, if you actually just want to reset all of the actions at once in the whole panel, all you do is go up here to the menu and then click reset preferences. One other thing that's going to be different is in the settings tab, we have our naming system for our selection saving. So if we want to save a selection, for example, if we make a selection of the water, We could simply name our selection here and save it as a selection. And then under the channels, you'll see your save selection here, and you can always revert back to that save selection and create a selection from that channel if needed. Now, for the most part, everything else in the panel is exactly the same. Luckily, we were able to program all the functionality from the previous version into this new UXP format. As the new UXP format is limited in some ways, we actually have one issue that we're trying to work out still. It's not a big one. Basically, when you click stack, it's going to ask you if you want to stack all the open documents onto one single tab. And whether you click proceed or cancel, sometimes this box gets stuck, but whichever one that you have selected last will execute once you hit the X button. Other than that, feel free to use the panel exactly the same way that you used it previously. If you do run into any issues at all, don't hesitate to shoot me an email through the contact form on the website, and I'll be happy to help.